Today's topic is erectile dysfunction and how to restore sexual health for men. Let's get started. First, let's define the condition. Quite simply, ED is the inability to obtain or maintain an erection sufficient for sexual activity. Men should know that this condition is common, and we see a drop in function in most men after the age of 40. This can be related to diabetes, high blood pressure, or prior surgery for conditions like prostate cancer. A common question in my office is how can men reduce their risk or potentially improve sexual health? Here are some tips. It is important for men to maintain a healthy body weight. A healthy diet should also be followed. Another very important item is that men avoid use of tobacco products. Special attention should be given to regular cardiovascular exercise. And men should have periodic checkups with a primary doctor to check things like blood pressure and cholesterol. Men with ED often want to know why this condition occurs. Some cases may be caused by stress or anxiety. Others may be due to poor blood flow from changes to blood vessels. And some instances may be due to nerve damage from diabetes or surgery for prostate cancer. For the typical patient coming to the office, the first step is taking a thorough history. After this, we conduct a focused physical examination. Some men may have blood work to look at hormone levels. All right, let's discuss treatment options. In cases related to anxiety, counseling may be an option. For some men, medication may be appropriate. Common examples include Viagra and Cialis. Viagra should be taken on an empty stomach, provides results for about four hours, and the maximum dose is 100 milligrams. Unlike Viagra, Cialis can be taken with food, provides results for 48 to 72 hours, and the maximum dose is 20 milligrams. Both drugs take about 30 to 60 minutes to take effect, and both are available in generic form at lower cost. Neither should be used in men taking nitrates like Imdur or nitroglycerin. Alcohol can make these medications less effective, and you should separate the timing from use of some medications for enlarged prostate. It is important to recognize that these medications may have side effects. These may include headache, heartburn, muscle aches, or even some temporary changes in vision. However, many men tolerate medication quite well. Now, if the medications fail, we have other options. Let's discuss these in more detail. The simplest of these is the vacuum erection device, sometimes called the pump. It requires assembly and uses vacuum pressure to pull blood into the penis and a tight band to maintain pressure. It can be cumbersome and uncomfortable and is not very popular among most men. Next, we have injectable medication. Most commonly, this is a mixture of three different chemicals from a compounding pharmacy and is kept in the fridge or freezer until use. When ready, a man would inject this medication into the side of his penis and wait for a response. Not surprisingly, placing a needle into the penis for every episode of sexual intercourse can be alarming to some men. Injectable medication should only be used once every 48 to 72 hours, with caution in patients using blood thinners. It's rarely covered by insurance and can be costly. It works well for some, but not all men. In rare cases, it can produce a prolonged erection that may require a trip to the emergency room and possibly another to surgery. Men who fail or wish to avoid injections often ask me about a permanent solution that doesn't involve rings, pills, or needles and is preferably covered by insurance. They also request an option that allows them to be spontaneous and sexually active whenever desired. The option these men seek is the penile implant, 
Developed in the early 70s, this internal solution restores function for tens of thousands of men each year. Device placement involves a short outpatient procedure under anesthesia and is often covered by insurance. It goes up and stays up whenever desired and goes down on command. Sensation is preserved and the outside appearance is unchanged. This option can restore a man's confidence related to sexual health. Among all treatment options, the implant has the highest satisfaction among female partners. Patients requesting surgery must be able to temporarily hold blood thinners, and diabetes should be well controlled based on A1C values. For more information, check out wakeforestmenshealth.com or to arrange a visit you can call our clinic at area code 336-716-4131. We hope this has been informative. Rest assured that your sexual health concerns can be addressed by experts here at Wake Forest Men's Health. Helping you live better every day.